So, oh, oh gosh, we got a bandit over here. Hello there, buddy. Does he see us? He does see us. And he just killed us. That That's wonderful. What's up, weirdos? Welcome back to Miss Survival. This is episode 45. If you missed the first 44 episodes, go ahead and check out the playlist. You can catch that in the description and catch up on everything that you've missed. And uh, I'm just doing a little bit of uh, tomato watering. Yeah, just watering some tomatoes. And uh, yeah, just gonna set that right there. We don't need that right now. Uh, looking good. Our corn is ready to harvest, as you can see. Uh, beautiful. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead, see what we got from it. We got oh, okay. So we got some corn on the cob there. Very nice. Let's see what we uh, see what we got here. Okay, so we have got oh, we got one uh, corn seed sack. Okay. Now I assume we can harvest can harvest these. We can get two units from that. We can get two units there. That's two units. That's one unit. Okay. Uh, two units. Three units. Okay, this definitely definitely use this one. Okay, and uh, two units. Two units. Two units. Three units. Okay, so I'm gonna take. Uh, you know what? Let's just take one, and we're gonna go ahead and turn the rest into seeds. I think that's gonna be a good option because I, I want to get some chickens at some point. I and I also want to see uh, what this corn does for our hunger. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, and harvest all of these for seeds. Wow, it's gonna take 15 minutes to do that. Seems a lot longer than it should. But hey, whatever. We'll do it. Ten minutes. Okay, so it takes five minutes to get one seed. That seems like a lot of time. I don't know. We'll do it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, harvest as much seed as I can. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to ride back over to the uh, to the base. I don't want anything crazy to happen. That you know, it is okay. We still got some time, but you know, I, I just I don't want to deal with any mist or anything crazy like that. We're gonna ride over here. Uh, as you can see, I have been doing a little bit of work on the. Oh my gosh, Scott, what did you do? Okay, that was that was crazy. Yeah, th that glitch has got to get fixed. I, you know, I I know the developers working on it. I'm hoping that'll be fixed in the next update. Um, <laughs> the vehicle is just flipping for no reason at all. It's, uh, I mean, it's funny, and it's also very annoying. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you can see I've been doing some work on the wall. Uh, just a little bit. Um, I am going to have the, um, the survivors do a lot of work at the lumber camps. Um, I, as you can see, Scott has been cutting down lots of trees over there. And I wanted to put Kate and Rachel to work as well. So what I did is I made a second workbench and I took it over there. And I'm going to have uh, one of the girls make nails uh, while the other girl works on, uh, works on the uh, cutting wood. And then uh, Scott can cut down trees. And look at Rachel. She's over here uh, you know, talking to Scott's imaginary friend. We, we always knew uh, that uh, they were a little crazy, Rachel and uh, Scott. And Kate, Kate, we haven't seen Kate over there in a while. So maybe... Uh, Maybe she she sees sees the truth that uh, yeah this is this is not real but uh, apparently Rachel thinks it's real and apparently Scott thinks it's real too. In fact, Scott likes to imitate him. So uh, who knows? I you know I, I don't know if we should keep him around. Maybe he's like some kind of voodoo thing. I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, uh, yeah, we have a lot of work to do. And uh, I am going to go ahead and harvest those seeds inside the base, just just to be safe. You know, it, a mist can come at any time, usually after 9 o'clock, though, so you know, we're, we're okay right now. Uh, but, yeah, it can definitely come at any time. So let's go ahead and harvest as much of this as we can. You know, it's going to take us a while because we got a lot here. But that's fine because, uh, you know, we, we, we really need the seeds. The seeds are really important because... Uh, I want to see how much food corn gives us, first off. 
And uh, second off, we're going to need the corn to feed our chickens. So uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of work to do still. My goodness, this this game. It, when you think you're you're making a dent in it, there's still so much more to do. And you can see we got lots of seeds now. We're up to uh, this is going to be 19 seeds. We're going to have over 20 seeds when we're done. So that's that's really nice. All right, beautiful. That is perfect. 21 seeds. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put that in our locker over here. And I'm not going to plant them right now. Again, I, I want to get working on that wall. Uh, we are going to do some work with that. Just not right now. And I, I guess I should cook this up and see. Uh, I could eat it raw, but, you know, there's always that potential uh, that, uh, you know, you, <laughs> there's always that potential you get uh, an infection or something. So, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and uh, just cook it. And I don't think this is going to take very long to cook. It's uh, raw right now. I imagine it's going to be similar to the potatoes. Similar to the tomatoes. You know, pretty quick cook. Yeah, yeah. 10 seconds and now it's medium. So another 5 to 10 seconds it's going to be well done. And uh, yeah, let's see if it uh, changes the icon of it. I'm sure it will. It's a nice roasted corn. How long is this going to take? There we go. Well done. That took a while. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's it looks it looks delicious. And our, our hunger is about halfway. So uh, let's see if we eat this. Let's see how much it brings up our hunger. Eh, not a whole lot. Yeah, it was about the same as the tomatoes. Uh, but that is one of the, that is something that you could you could grow a lot of, and uh, you could you could survive on corn if you had to. You could probably survive on it. So uh, that's good to know. Uh, the potatoes are give us a little bit more hunger than the corn. So uh, you know <laughs> the um, the corn is nothing great, but uh, I think it might be a little bit better than the tomatoes at least. And of course the tomatoes are way better than the blueberries. The blueberries are the worst thing in the game, and I don't really think you need to eat them. Um, unless you have like a hundred of them, <laughs> of course it would take a long time to eat them all. So I think the blueberries are something you want to use uh, exclusively for the traps. Now, if there was like a you know nutrition level, you know you have to keep up your nutrition, eat certain things um, that would uh, incentivize the use of the blueberries. But as of right now, we, we really we really don't need them. Uh, so yeah. Uh, as you can see, uh, our survivors are just walking around uh, aimlessly, so we have to get them something to do. Um, one thing I want to do is build another lumber camp, because the one over there, the, the two that we've built so far, are now uh, becoming obsolete. As, you, as you'll see, there's a lot of trees that have been cut down, and uh, you know we're going to have to find a third place for them to work. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Hop in our truck and drive away. And again, still need to do some work on this wall. Again, a lot of work, in fact. But uh, it's coming along. It is coming along. It's looking pretty good from this side, from this angle. It looks really nice. And then, yeah, you can see all the uh, work that Scott has been doing. He's cut down a lot of trees over here. Now I have to decide where I want to put this next, uh, this next camp. I think this is going to be a nice area right over here. This is pretty flat over here. Now we have a couple areas that we can do this. Let's go ahead and shut this off for a second. We have a couple areas we can build. Uh, we could build it over here, or we could build it over on that side. Now I don't see bandits over here very often, so this might be a good area right over here. Just build a little little lumber camp right here. And again, there are bandits, but I don't think they're going to mess with our survivors. I think they'll be okay over here. So let's go ahead, go ahead, build a small cabin. And uh, I did forget some components, didn't I? Yeah, I forgot components. I'm gonna have to go back and get those. I might have some in the truck, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough. So let's go ahead and build this up. This is gonna take us eight hours to build, so we will have to look out for a mist. And again, we are thirsty, so let's go ahead and drink something. Okay, back to working on this. Yep, there's a mist. Alright, well, we're going to head back. 
Because I, I really don't want to deal with the uh, the zombies right now. And we do have enough components in here, so that's that's good. Alright. Let me save. Because I don't want to uh, flip the truck. Okay. <laughs> and come back down here. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and sleep the mist. You know, I, I could do some work during it, but, uh, yeah, I, I, honestly, I, I probably need to bring up my fatigue anyway. So let's go ahead and sleep. Okay, we are back, and let's go ahead and finish up this cabin. Again, we still got four hours left. I don't know if we're going to get all of it done tonight. Probably have to finish the rest in the morning. Yeah, it's getting a little dark, a little too dark for my liking. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Leave that. We got uh, we got nine more nails to put in. It's gonna be an hour and a half left of work. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead back for the night. Get uh, get some sleep. Get something to eat. And uh, we'll get started in the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the work bench. I'm gonna put that in the back of the truck right now because we're pretty much done over here. Okay. Just swing this around. And just toss it right in the back. It'll, it'll fit, I think. We'll find out. And uh, let's go ahead and grab the saw bench as well. And that should stay. We'll find out. Yep, they stayed. Cool. I'm just going to leave this in the back of the truck for now. No issues. We'll just kind of park the truck right over here so it's ready to go in the morning. Just like that. Cool. Uh, we don't have to worry about the trains. There are no trains, thankfully. So that's good. And uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves some sleep. What do we got over here? We got a bunch of branches and stuff. A bunch of rocks, feathers. Okay, I'll pick this stuff up. Since it's all in one place, that is perfect. Perfecto! We got blueberry. You know, I, I really don't need the blueberries right now. Really don't need them. Nom. You see, it, it doesn't help at all. <laughs> it barely helps the hunger and thirst. Okay. So, yeah, let's get some sleep. What? Oh my goodness. What? What is going on here? Did, did you kill him? Did you kill him, Scott's friend? Scott's freaky deaky little friend, did you kill him? Oh man. Mind powers. Must have, must have been uh, mind powers. Yeah, stay out. Yeah, all of you. You can stay out tonight. <laughs> now, all of our food should be dried now, I think. 100%. Yeah, it's dried. We're going to go ahead and grab that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the rock in the rock box. There we go. Nice. And we've got some feathers. We can put them in our well, our arrow cabinet, wherever it is. Here we go. There we go. Nice. And uh, I'm going to get some sleep, hopefully. Uh, water is going to be an issue at some point. Yeah, you can see we're down to just two liters. So let's go ahead. Oops. Let's go ahead and grab some water out of this. Okay. Put it in here. Wait, that was the wrong thing. It's gotta go in there, and I gotta put that up to ten. Okay, there we go. And we can do that again. We can get six liters. So let's go ahead and take. Put that in here. I'll give us. It'll, it'll, it's a total of 16 liters that that thing can hold, so, uh, you know, not too bad, honestly, not too bad. And, uh, yeah, that's going to spill all the water, probably. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. All right, so we're going to need a match. We're going to need four firewood and four um, tree bark, so let's go ahead and grab that stuff right now. Uh, we are getting low on tree bark. That's one thing we're going to have to get more of. Go ahead and grab that. We need a match. Split one. There we go. And uh, let's grab some firewood. We need four, so let's go ahead and split this in half. Again, I've got lots of firewood. All of these lockers here are full of firewood. 
pretty much. Yeah, it's just beautiful. All right, I'm going to go ahead and light this. Distill, there we go. And uh, we'll let that distill overnight. And uh, we should be in really good shape. Let's go ahead and eat something real quick. Again, we've got lots of dried meat. We have four drying racks full of that. So that is really nice. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, I am going to try to sleep. Hopefully we don't get any zombies tonight. I don't know. We'll find out. I'll eat the rest of this stuff. And uh, yeah, get to work in the morning. All right, guys. It is early the next morning. And uh, I got a good night's sleep. Didn't have to worry about the zombies too much. We did hear them. They did wake us up a couple times, but we were able to get back to sleep pretty easily. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, build the rest of this. Again, just an hour and a half left of work to do. There we go. Ready to go. And uh, let's go ahead and set this as our base. We're going to bring everyone over here. And again, a uh, new location, guys. Check it out. What do you think? We are right next to the town. And uh, we'll go ahead and set our saw bench right here. Okay, workbench, I'm going to grab this, bring this over here, okay, cool, and uh, what we're going to do is I have all of the uh, materials I need already in here, so there we go, go ahead and grab our components, we're going to go ahead and grab our metal scraps like that, beautiful. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have Scott. That's right, Scott. Hello. Freaky deaky. Uh, yeah, inventory is empty. Good. I want you to three assign work. Cut down trees. And we're going to have him cut down trees for three hours. And we're going to have him pick up logs. We don't need any more leaves, so we're good there. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, just cut down a bunch of trees. Go at it. Have fun. Now, uh, where do the girls go? What? Well, they're walking away. What do you care? What are you girls doing? They're, they're just walking away. Oh, man. <sighs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, we're going to have... going to have Rachel make us some nails. We're going to have her do that for three hours. Uh, let's have her do that for four hours. Okay. Oh, wait. Not Kate. Rachel. There we go. Okay. So Rachel's going to make us some nails. And uh, let's go ahead and grab some of this stuff. And uh, we're going to give this job to Kate. There we go. And I'll grab some more logs down here. Now I can put... Uh, really no more room for that stuff. Okay. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to come down here grab some logs go back up oh what well, we got we've got some branches okay we'll pick up the branches that's something we can use everything else I'm gonna leave oh feather that's one thing we can use okay feathers and branches good stuff where's Rachel at did she did she go back I know I saw Kate going back I don't know if I saw Rachel I'm getting worried that maybe she's glitching out. Alright, so here we go. We've got some logs. Good. We'll have Kate cut us some wood. Alright, another branch right there. Cool. Scott's going to go ahead and cut down the trees. And, uh, oh yeah, Rachel's completely disappeared. She's completely disappeared. I don't know where she's at. Rachel. Wherever you're at, come on up here. And uh, we're going to give this job to Kate. We'll have her cut down, cut some more wood. There you go. When you're done with that, go ahead and cut some more. Oh, there's Rachel. She just magically appeared. Good. So, uh, yeah, she's going to go ahead and do that. And uh, she's, there's going to be a lot of nails there, so that's all good. I should have brought a locker over here. Oh, well. So, uh, yeah, that, that'll be good for now. Again, Scott's cutting wood, so or he's cutting down trees, and, wow, he's a long way away from the base. I don't know why he's doing that. Whatever. 
doesn't matter to us. We got them working. Everything is looking good. Let's go ahead and uh, go back to work on the wall. I'm not going to film all of it because, well, it's there's a lot of it. And it's uh, very monotonous. So I'm just going to show a little bit here and there. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how our survivors do with their, their new tasks. All right, so we had a mist. I did get a little bit of work done, though. Let's see, you got anything on you? Nope. No, they never have anything on them unless you kill them. Uh, so, yeah, I've been uh, working on this. Again, I, I decided I'm going to kind of bring this in this direction now, uh, kind of diagonally. Now, I could leave this open. I thought about leaving it open. I thought this would be a nice little area for a garden. But, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I mean, we, we, we could still do that. We could still do that. This is going to come down in this direction. I'm going to have I'm gonna bring it around that tree. And then I guess I could bring it over here. We'll see. We, we will see. I mean, I haven't placed this yet, so we could cancel it. Oh, I, I already put nail. I already put everything but nails in it. All right. Well, forget that. Uh, it's going to go like that. I'm going to go ahead and check on our survivors, see how they're doing. Well, it looks like Kate is done with her job. <laughs> lots and lots of wood over here. And uh, Scott is completely uh, completely glitched out. Alright. Go ahead and cut. Start cutting. There we go. Alright, he, he's back to work. Uh, wow, he, he didn't cut down much, did he? Maybe I shouldn't uh, have him pick anything up. I think for now on, we're not going to have Scott pick anything up. We're just going to do all that for him. And we're just going to let him cut everything down. Because he barely got anything cut. There's Rachel just, just leaning against the wall. Don't cut that on top of my head, Scott. Oh gosh, Scott, what are you doing? Oh, man. He, he's dangerous. You, you've got to watch him. You've got to watch him. Okay, so Rachel is done. As you can see, she's made us some nails. That is great. I'm going to take those. So I'm going to need them. I'm going to put them in the locker. Oh, we got... Eh, don't need that. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put these in uh, this other locker, I think. Yeah, this locker right here. Get some nails in there. Okay, great. And uh, let's also go ahead and grab some of these logs. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Scott, Scott, I'm going to give you a new job. A better job. A much better job. All right, I'll just toss those out. Yep, just toss those out. Right through you. Okay, so, oh, oh gosh, we've got a bandit over here. Hello there, buddy. Does he see us? Does kill and he just killed us. That that's wonderful. <laughs> okay, well that makes things just a little bit more exciting. We got some bandits that we have to deal with now. Actually, yeah, I kind of like that. It makes this uh, maybe a little bit more interesting. Uh oh, uh oh. Kate's all glitched out a little bit. Looks like yeah, she's a little glitched out. All right, Scott, uh, what are you doing here? Are, are you gonna? You can cut some trees now. Okay, let's take uh, let's take these logs. I guess we're gonna have to look out for bandits whenever we're doing this stuff now. Oh boy, that's exciting! It's exciting. Okay, you are going to. Oh nope. You're gonna go ahead and cut down some more trees. Okay, I'm gonna assign that for three hours, and I'm not gonna have you pick anything up because you seem to glitch out all the time. Okay. Now, uh, let's see where is Rachel? Where is Rachel? She uh, there's Rachel. Okay, good. So let's see. We've got some nails here. We'll go ahead and put this stuff in the truck. And I don't see any bandits. Oh man, this is fun. This is fun. We got bandits. Okay, so we're gonna put that stuff in there. We're gonna grab whoa. Grab this stuff. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put this in here. Well, actually, what we'll 
do is uh, yeah you know what we can do more we can do more split half split half put that in there put that in there okay and uh, yep it's got almost landed that right on top of the workbench great job there Scott great job uh, now yeah let's put this all the way up okay two and a half hours that's fine there you go Rachel go ahead give you something to work on I don't see any bandits over there so that's good news and uh, yeah let's go ahead and pick some of this wood up there's a lot Okay, that's all we can pick up. Yeah, we can get this all on the ground. Be a little bit easier. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna pick this up and uh, move it over here now. All right, that'll be easier to pick up. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and assign this to Kate. As much as we can. There we go. Almost three hours. Cool. So there you go, Kate. Have fun. Cut some more wood for me, please. And we'll grab all this stuff. Bring it back to the base. And uh, hopefully no more bandits. Uh, I think I think we figured it out now. Um, always uh, always keep an eye out, pretty much. That, that was very, very unusual how they just showed up like that. Uh, but yeah, I guess they do they do kind of uh, walk through here so we do have to keep an eye out for that which I, I think uh, just adds a little bit a little bit more excitement to the uh, this whole thing over here so uh, exciting definitely and we're gonna head back to the uh, base we're gonna get a little bit more work done and then after that I want to build a generator all right guys we are back let's uh, see how they did Wow Scott's cut down a lot of trees over here good job Scott and uh, Kate's just uh, staring at it. She's she's thinking the same thing. Wow, he, he did a lot of work. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab these nails. So we've got some some more nails that we can go ahead and put in our locker. I brought another locker over here. Uh, I think that's gonna be our where where we keep our. Well, I'm just gonna grab this one because it's got stuff in it now. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep nails and. Uh, or not nails, but uh, components and scrap in here uh, so that we can make more nails easily enough. Hi, Rachel. And, uh, yeah, a lot of wood right here. Let's go ahead and pick this all up. As much of it as we can. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of you guys. I, I really am. You guys you guys worked hard. You guys worked really hard today. I'll gra go ahead and grab all this, too. Again, uh, bandits. I don't see any bandits right now. Again, they they could come over here. They they were coming over earlier to check it out, and they, they shot me dead. That was uh, very unexpected, but hey, you know, that kind of stuff happens, and uh, you got to be ready for it. It is a survival situation. So I'm going to go over here, put this wood in here, and then we're going to load up everybody with lots of logs. That didn't sound right. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, grab all these logs, we'll put these, these nails in here, that'll work. Okay, and, uh, yeah, just grab as many of these as we can, put in everyone's inventory, we'll head back. Okay, no bandits. The thing about the bandits is, they're quiet, you don't know if they're coming your way, so you gotta, you gotta keep an eye out for them. Okay, so let's go over here to Kate. Here you go. I got logs for you. Yes. Yep. Put those in there, and then uh, we'll do that with Rachel and Scott, and then we will head back. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on that generator, because uh, that's the next big thing I want to get working on. Uh, I don't think we're going to get it running tonight, because we don't have any lights yet. Uh, but we can at least... We can at least... Uh, get that set up so that whenever we do make the lights we can just turn it on and see if everything's working or not all right guys we are back at the base and uh, I, I went ahead and dropped a bunch of stuff here wood over here logs here I uh, brought a locker over and I put some nails in it 
So uh, we are ready to continue on with the wall, but first I do want to build that generator. And uh, you coming out here, Rachel? Okay, cool. And uh, you, you can't stand there, though. I mean, come on. Come on. All right, you're staying out. Um, I want to build the generator. So let's see. We got six gears. Okay, so we're going to need that. We're also going to need, I believe, ten scraps. So we'll grab that. There's uh, three, split one. There you go. Ten. So ten scraps. And we need twenty components. So uh, that locker is empty. We'll go ahead and grab these. Split one, split one. Put those there. Okay. So 20 components. So that is done. Oh, you're coming back in? You're coming back in? Gosh. They, they, they are such a pain. The survivors, they are a pain. Okay, so the generator, I, I don't really know where I'm going to put it. Um, for now, it's going to go over here. It'll just go, like, right over here for now. Uh, let's go ahead and build that. Oh, you know what? We're thirsty. Let's go ahead and uh, let's drink just a little bit. And uh, we'll go ahead and do this now. Okay. And I'm again, I'm just going to set it right here for now. Uh, that may change. But uh, for now, it's just going to go right here. That's an easy place to leave it. All right, and again, we need a hammer for that, and we'll go ahead and put all this stuff in here. Again, past uh, 8 o'clock at night, and that is all done. Now, uh, we're going to have to fill this up. Now, there is some stuff in here, I think. It might be in here. Here we go. Now, let's see how much this fills it up. This, this can go uh, 15 liters max, so, yeah. Start adding some fuel. There we go. Nice. Now that's empty. We'll add that. Okay. And uh, let's see. Go ahead. Grab a little bit more. Now I want to leave some of this for other things. Yeah. We'll grab all this though. We can put all this in. Okay. Add all this. You can see that's going to give us uh, five days of power. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's pretty nice right there. Again, I wish the uh, these biofuel cans would just disappear whenever you you fuel them up completely. Oop. Grab that. And uh, go ahead and put this stuff in. Very nice. And uh, again... A uh, total of five days is how much you can get in, is how much you can get out of it. And uh, we're not going to use that. This is our, uh, oh, we can actually name the generator too. That's cool. Uh, we're not going to turn it on because uh, we don't have any lights working just yet. So uh, we're going to hold off on that. Uh, so let's, you know, can I get out of here? Thank you. All right, I'm going to throw away these uh, these cans because they're they're absolutely worthless as far as I know. I don't think we can... Can we harvest them? No, can't harvest them. Be cool if you got like scrap from that. That'd be nice. Um, yeah, just toss these out, just like that. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna leave it there. We we got a lot done this episode. Uh, we got uh, more of the wall done. We built another lumber camp for the survivors. And uh, they're doing a good job. They're uh, doing a lot of work. We're going to let them get a nice night of sleep, hopefully. Hopefully the zombies leave us alone. And, uh, yeah, next episode, I'm not sure. We're probably going to do a little bit more building. There's going to be a lot of building for the next, I don't know, how, however many episodes. Uh, I am going to break it up a little bit. At some point, we're going to go check out the suburbs. Going to loot all of that. There's a bunch of houses over there. And there's some infected that we're going to have to fight as well. And uh, maybe some bandits, you never know. Uh, they like to they like to spawn in that area, so we will have to watch out for them. But uh, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, comment, share it with your friends and help grow the channel. And subscribe and tap the bell to get more videos. Alright, goodbye!